having survived the nuclear attack and the preceding months of fallout and nuclear winter. You will emerge from your inner refuge or shelter and find yourself asking, what next? You may be shocked to learn that your favourite pastimes, such as attending the drive-in theatre, dancing at a fashionable discotheque, a romantic evening at the roller rink, or playing at the local video arcade, will all be gone. While the outlook for your future may appear bleak, with basic survival knowledge and forward thinking, there is no reason you can't lead a successful life well into the post-apocalypse. When wandering the wasteland searching for supplies, there are key essential items you will want to obtain for survival. Vitamins and medical supplies. Canned food and drinks, as exposed foods could be contaminated. A weapon for self-defence. And gasoline for vehicles, Molotov cocktails or assisting fires. And cigarettes and alcohol. As they can be used for trading purposes. An appropriate look is essential, not just for practicality and style, but also for self-confidence. A new hairstyle may be a wise idea. This is a good look for post-apocalyptic life. This isn't. While most man-made resources will be hard to find, one made-of-man resource that will be plentiful will be the abundance of charred human skulls. And they serve many practical purposes. Whether being used to keep a campfire controlled, performing theatre to a crowd, or recreational golf, skulls are a valuable resource. If you have concerns about strangers or marauding gangs attacking your home or raiding your supplies, try the following. Find a sharp stick or pike and impale a skull. Like this. Then place the pike outside the front of your house. This will be quite psychologically intimidating and deter anyone who comes by, adequately protecting your property and interests. <laughs> Do you see potential in yourself as a leader? If you wish to become warlord of your local area, understanding is the key. First you'll need to find yourself a good weapon. These are suitable. But if no weapons are available, try to find a really big stick. Or failing that, begin telling your neighbours you know karate. Many people without clean drinking water will be dehydrated and disoriented. A good kick in the air should be proof enough for anyone at this stage. In no time at all, your numbers will grow, and an average group of civilians can become a commanding legion of warriors, ready to rule and control vast areas for your benefit. Radiation affects the environment and also has negative effects on people. While a number of people dismiss it as superstition, do not drink or eat anything that is contaminated. It can have grave effects, such as illness, death or mutation. Mutants are dangerous. Be alert. For example, a mutant is hiding in this scene. Can you see it? Look closely. See it? No? That's because it's behind you. (laughs) 
some mutants you may encounter include sewer-dwelling vampiric chuds, giant radioactive cockroaches, hyper-intelligent apes, and various others. But by displaying caution and knowledge, you and your nuclear family can hopefully remain unaffected. When considering World War III, it is worthy remembering Albert Einstein's famous quote on the subject. Which leads us to the next topic. Having survived World War III, you'll then need to be prepared to survive World War IV. If you find yourself confronted by a killer robot, and are against being forced into its slave labour camp, try boldly asking it the following. Say, Robot, you know what it is to kill, but do you know what it is to love? Then, in the confusion, run away. The key to making the most of the challenges you face are forward thinking with regard to finding foods and clothing for survival, understanding human psychology, leadership and decision making, caution in regards to radioactivity and mutants, and knowledge and acceptance of your situation. Remember these important points, as they are key to your survival. Think of them as dot points, a phrase, or an acronym. It's all you need to keep in mind for life after nuclear war. <laughs>